Hi guys, Ed Mark Designs here. Uh, today we're going to be doing another tutorial in Cinema 4D. Today we are going to be learning what HDR images are and how to use them within your scenes. Now a HDR image is just another image file, like JPEG is an image, uh, TIFF is an image, HDRIs are just another type of image. However, HDRIs have perhaps three, maybe more, different images of the same thing within them. So you would have say three, five or seven different photos of the same item all compressed into one image. However, you can still change the exposure of that image so it looks as if it's night time or it looks as if it's daytime or anything in between. Now that gives you loads of options with the images. Um, a HDI image is so, so useful. Um, you use them mainly for reflections. You can create lighting with them. Uh, you can create false lighting that looks like as if it's real. Uh, HDR stands for high dynamic range. So a HDR I is a high dynamic range image. Um, they're quite expensive to buy properly. Um, certain companies do sell them and they're not exactly that cheap just for a set of standard images. Um, Cinema 4D does come with quite a few. I think you have about 25 to 30 HDR images within Cinema 4D. Not all of them are going to be used a great deal for what we really need. But today I will show you how to use HDRI to light up a scene and uh, you can see for yourself and how powerful these HDRI images are. So what I've got by here is just my basic loadout. I'm going to start by creating a new flow. Now I'm going to create a sky and uh, that's pretty much it. So if we create, I don't know, let's create some text. Let's put in whatever you want for your text. Change our font to something that's a bit better than the standard. Align it to the center. Right. So now if I render this now, you will see that we just have the standard image. Pretty much like what you see there. Now for our sky, the reason why sky is in Cinema 4D is because it can create luminance, it can give off global luminance. Now I'm not sure if you know, but if you can see this dotted white line that runs along my horizon point in my viewport, that is basically where I will see the floor meet the sky. So again, if I, if I render now without the sky, we have a solid black line where you can see where the floor basically runs out. Now you will never be able to come to that line. It'll move up and down depending on which way you're looking at it, but that it's it's an infinite line. There's, there's nothing there, nothing beyond that point. It's just a reference mark for you to see where the sky would actually start to come into play. So with my sky back in now, if I render this time, again you'll see my sky, my floor. So you have to be careful sometimes, like if you don't really want to see it, but you want to preserve all of the sky, then you need to hide that, that line. So if we render now, you'll see you can no longer see my sky, yet it is still here. So we're going to create a new material, just double click in this blank plane down by here. Double click on the material. Now when you're working with luminance channels, especially HDRI, by default Cinema 4D will enable colour and specular. Now we don't want either of these, so we untick both of them. Now on luminance, make sure luminance is ticked, and we want to click our texture box for you, this large box. And you want to browse to your HDR folder. You can download them, you can find them within Cinema 4D. For this tutorial I will provide an example HDR image for you to work with in case you don't have any or can't find any on the internet. So let's just grab a random one. 
Now I explained what this is in my previous tutorial. If you're not too sure, then go and take a quick look at that. Um, but for now we're just going to say no. Now you will see that we have this random image up here. So first thing you want to do is for the brightness of the overall luminance, we're going to bring it down to 0%. You'll notice that the image is still there. Nothing has changed at all. Now this is where it becomes in interesting. With mixed strength, now this, this will not work with a JPEG or a TIFF, it will only work with HDR images or EXR images. They're both pretty much the same, but HDRs are more widely used. So currently we have it on full brightness. If we bring this down a bit, you will eventually see it gets darker. Now you can't really see too much because it's, it's, it's a black and white image. But at times like 2% it gets darker. Now a standard JPEG, the overall image would just dull down. So if I apply this to my sky, simply drag that onto your sky. And now we render. Again you can see not a great deal has changed. So what, what, what we want to do, we want to make a new material again. And we're just going to turn reflection on and bring the brightness down to about 30% and drag that onto our text and render now. Again we have a bit of a reflection kind of from this layer of the text but not a great deal. So on our render settings if we come to effect, global illumination. Now for the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to put our samples down to low and the density down to preview. Obviously for your final render you're going to need to put that up otherwise it might not look that good. And if we render now, you see that our HDI image comes into play and our text instantly looks that much better. I mean it has depth, it has proper reflections and just because we added global illumination with a sky that has an HDI image attached to it. I mean, if we come back up to our HDR material on our Luminous channel and put our mix strength up to the full 100%, and now we, now we do a render again, you'll see how much brighter my text and my flow looks. And we've already created really natural looking reflections. And it's so quick and so effective. There's, there's no lights involved, there's no spotlights, there's no soft boxes, there's nothing. It's just a sky with a luminous channel. Now, what I could do, we could change that image to something a bit different. If I change my file to something different. Now, as you can see, this HDI image is a lot different to the last one we used. If we render now, we're going to have a different type of image. Now I haven't changed the material on my floor, I haven't changed the material on my text, I've simply changed the way my sky looks. And you can see we have this dark green blue text, which would be great for making night scenes and stuff like that. We can bring it down to 30% again and render now. And now you will see it's a lot darker. So there's so much you can do with HGI images. I mean, we could change it again for the purpose of example. And now it's changed again. So we could render it and see how it looks now. Now you can see it's very dark. That's all we can see now is the tips of the text. So let's put our mix strength up to 100%, see if that helps a little bit. We render. Now you can see the text, but it's still dark, but it creates that very nighttime sort of scene look to it. And that was done within a few minutes. We haven't gone and made custom materials for our text. We haven't had to add any lights or any bit maps or bump maps or displacement. It was just as simple as that. So yeah, I would include a few of these for you to download and see if you can uh, try it off yourself. Now, if you are wondering where the Cinema 4D presets are, if you come to your file, 
and load material presets, you have a load of materials which Cinema 4D ships with. Um, I'm using the studio version of Cinema 4D. So if you're using the Prime version or the broadcast version, it may differ. But under Prime for me, we have materials, HDRI. And there's 26 HDRI images here. So we could pick one of them, open it up. And again, make sure our brightness is set to 0%. And then we could play with that. And you can see how that looks as if it's proper in your face bright we can come down to 1% and then it looks as if it's getting dark so we could put it up to let's say 20% we could apply that to our sky instead and we could render now and we've instantly got a different change again we can see all of the reflections in our text and it looks great. I mean, perhaps you like the light it gives off, but you don't really want the reflection. But what we could simply do is by here, sorry, by here, you have blur offset and blur scale. Just bump the blur up a little bit. So we can put them both to 5%. Give it a render now. And now our reflections aren't so dominant. The reflections are still there, but you can't really make out what they are reflecting. So you could change your view so you could see the sky. You see how the sky is now a little bit blurred. Like that. And it's as simple as that. HDR images, they're very powerful. They're used for a lot. If you ever see an intro or something made in Cinema 4D, and you, you think that the lighting looks good, the material looks good chances are they've used HDI images to create that. So yeah, give it a go, see what you can produce. And uh, look in the description for a download link to the HDR images. So thanks guys, and I'll see you soon.